Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Big Thing. Very excited about today's episode. It's going to be a lot of uh, different things that we talk about here, too. It might be stuff that we covered already through review or whatever, but it just it's a pure conversation and could be pure chaos because the lovely ladies are back. That's right. Kate Mulligan and Steph Sabra. They are here. They are on the show with me. We're going to talk a little Halloween kills again because I have, at this point, when this comes out, I will have seen it, but I have not seen it yet. Steph's seen it. She got a strong opinion on it. Uh, Kate finally saw Rogue One. <laughs> Steph got a concussion. We don't know if that was from some of uh, these dating stories or whatever the hell it was, but we're going to find out. And there's, uh, you know, apparently there was some special, some crazy special about these two people having car sex, and we're going to talk about it. All right, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is nuts. It is <laughs> crazy, and we're ready to get going. Are you ready? I'm ready. It's the big thing. Welcome back. It's the big thing. Do you like this new song? It's the big thing. You're oh, a oh. bad man. You're a bad man. Thank You're you. a bad man. Like, You're like, a bad man. Like Muhammad Ali. Horsex. It's Muhammad Ali. Horsex. That's right. Welcome back, everyone. Batman. Welcome, everyone. If you're an audio listener, you just danced your your sorrow away. Yeah. That's all you did. It's nice to have everybody. Kate, how the hell are you? I'm good. Yeah, what's going on? Guys, I'm really good. Are you feeling nice? Everything's feeling nice. Everything's fine. Okay. No, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. good. I uh, like yeah. to hear it. Yeah, thanks. Thank you for asking. Thank you. Yeah, Thank I care. <laughs> I do. You don't think I do? I think you do. Yes, I, I do. I care a lot. Do. Did you? <laughs> we, Steph and I talked about it. Like we, She had FOMO from New York. I know you did oh, as well. I didn't, I didn't have FOMO. You didn't? I just had Mo. What's Because I was not fearful of oh. missing out. I didn't have fear. I just was out. actually. She just was missing out. I was like, I'm not afraid. I actually am seeing I that know. I am missing out. Yeah, yeah but you know what's great, I'm straight though. up missing out. Yeah, but you're not going to miss out on this. Look at that. Oh. The Ha Ha Halloween show. There it is. That's coming up on October 27th. We're going to do a show at Flappers again. We're going back to Flappers. It's myself, Mark Ellis, Ken Knapsack, and that I don't know Ban, uh, Danny Danny Byrne. He looks Danny funny. Dunn, Danny Dunn. Danny me. Dunn looks funny. I don't know him yet, so uh, we're going to meet him. I'm sure he's really good. And then obviously Jake Lewis, who is absolutely an amazing human being in general and a very funny guy, but also directed and co-wrote this. Jamie Costa, uh, Robin Williams video that went viral. We'll talk about that, obviously, too. And last but certainly not least, the great Kate Mulligan is going to be on the bill with us. Steph, you're very excited to be going to this show. Tell us why. What a lineup. What a lineup. I tell you, I'll be right in the front row yelling, laughing my little head off. Uh, I won't be there. But Why don't the World Girls give comedy a whirl? Yes. Can why we live stream that? from why there? Guys- why wouldn't you be able to? Can we host it? Ooh. Can you host the event? I doubt it. <laughs> that would be so fun. You should actually set the, something like that up. We could try to set something like that up at, fl- at Flappers, World Girls Try Comedy. and then But you have to arm the the uh, the uh, audience with tomatoes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, and then, like lettuce and, and cabbage. Yeah, and you can, and but you say if it's hurt. bad, you legit, you should go up with like one of those dog outfits that they do when the dogs like <laughs> bite you, but you should be prepared with like a catcher's yeah Met, you know Wait, i saw a comedian i forget his name he was this man was nuts he went up with a shock collar on his neck amazing no. and if people didn't laugh at the joke he would shock himself it, because he said it's like good learning for him to not do those jokes again and this man literally shocked himself multiple times i like that, <laughs> that commitment yeah. very mitch Hedberg. It's, it's really good um you watched rogue one last night Oh or my not one god! Last yes, night. no, yesterday. Oh, yesterday. Well, yeah. So uh, I'm trying to actually. I mean, I've got one competitor left this season on the Schmodown, and yeah. his name is Thomas Harper, and we're already like knee deep in prep for spectacular. But yeah. he, you know, he's like he's got this whole schedule lined up, and so it, I was like, okay, I see, like Revenge of the Sith. Like you want me? He's like, no, actually, it's cool. If, like on the days that I think. <laughs> How's your new friend? <laughs> I didn't know if it was in the shot. Boy, he sure uh, he's is. A, he's a he's a big Rogue One fan. He'll keep, he, he, he he just likes to listen. When he just wants to play. He's, yeah, he's, go ahead, go ahead. Like, he's is he look he's looking at me. He's he? he's looking at me. Um he? yeah. Oh god, he's right there. Is yeah. He? Okay. Is he is he like is he cool? Is yeah. Like, is he, hey, is he Chucky. Does he, does he seem like? Yeah. He, yeah. It's good. Should I uh-huh. should I say hi? engage? 
Hi. <laughs> hey. Oh, no, we're is, actually together. So Is there anything you wanted to say about about Chucky? Um, I just feel like representation matters and to all the gingers out there. This is this is not good representation. <laughs> That's their number one dog. Poor this, representation. This is what you, this is what you have. You, this, is your, this is your number one. This is a raw dog, if anything. <laughs> I'll tell you what. This is we could we could have. But done his hair better. is smooth, isn't it? It's smooth. It's really also, nice. his his thighs are. Yeah. Chucky um, could really start foam. a war with like all the redheads yeah, just true. taking over. But what oh. did you what did you think though, Kate, about Rogue One? So you so so I you, watched. Yeah. He was like, yeah, don't. And you don't. watched He's our like, rewatch don't. of the series directly afterward, right on Sith Council. Well, yes, mm -hmm. I sure mm -hmm. did. Mm -hmm. I got to right. tell you, yeah. I um, Rogue One feels. My initial thought was, um, it feels. This is what Mandalorian feels like. Yeah. Totally. That's what we talked about on the show also. Well, yeah, I sure. didn't know that when yeah. I watched Mandalorian that this was, but I was like, when you. It's that I same mean, kind of feel. Oh yeah. my God. But also like when, when you see Vader's fucking castle, you're like, I want to see Vader. I want to see Vader yeah. again. Vader's like, I was just like, and when Thomas said, he's like, no, why don't you, you know, do another movie? He's like, well, what about Rogue One or whatever? And I was like, okay. I was like, I've never even seen it. Because you like, knew nothing about it. And he goes, what took he you goes, well, then you're welcome. The answer to the answer to the question about what you said, what took you so long? There's tons of movies she hasn't seen, which is I actually I and I am not I am not making fun of her at all. I actually, you can make fun of me. For no, me, I love it because it allows us to ask these types of questions. So what would you think the first time? Because she just saw Rocky for the first time recently. Have you and seen Rocky? Yeah, the, not all five. No, I've just seen five. Oh, way more than five. Seventeen. You no, seen, have you seen? Did you see seventeen? It came out this year. Seventeen. No, the, the edge of seventeen. Eighteen. 18? Did you see yes. eighteen? Oh, sorry. Was Rocky oh, was eighteen, 18 oh. came out this 18. year. Okay. When Rocky I became a legal adult. Yes. yes, I heard that one was crazy. <laughs> She's not like she. She. You can't get her the way you can get Rocky. I know. Yeah. <laughs> we, although, I know. although we had one last week that we could have gotten her with with um, with Brett because you know when Brett and I we used to do that thing oh, where yeah. I would I would throw in the fake movies. I'm like, well, what was yes, the one you yes, wanted on yes, Netflix? Yes, and I started to do it and to him and I go, what about the one you were watching on Netflix? You know, Catapult. And he's like. He goes, oh, catapult! And he's he broke within a second. Yeah, it yeah. was so unlike Brett. And yeah, he it was, completely he didn't even, broke. He didn't even try. He knows. At first, I was like, huh? Yeah, <laughs> he, I know, we had her. We if we would have went, if we would have done a catapult movie, we would have gotten her. But like, but he, but he just built. Do you on. think he's gotten the memo that he's the funniest person on the planet? Do you think? I don't he's think. Like, I, th I don't think that he he gives himself enough credit. Dude, no, the way he broke us the other day. Oh, so what? what I didn't get the joke. Okay, because I think I. You, tune into it late the shmo, so basically the, i was i was like making a, a, a thing about modesty like there was, I, I had saw an that. acting teacher I that said that. this yes. thing and then brett just goes actually there were three people having nothing to do with what i but yeah. like but there was three people because one of them was being carried by jesus <laughs> yeah, right. which is that like you've seen that footprints thing or maybe no, you haven't been that's in, oh what that's it what it was yeah. that's like there's this big like catholic or i don't know if it's just catholic but yeah. like there's there were two men walking on a beach or there and or there's like and then it, the a guy's life got hard, and he and he saw there was just one uh, footprint, yeah. pair of footprints, and he said to Jesus, "Like, where were you when I needed you?" And he said, "I was carrying you." Yeah. <laughs> so that's why there was one set of footprints, and like, it. so it was like it, it just became was a good this time thing. To yes, yeah, yeah. yes, okay, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that that's why it went over my head. But, but uh, really yeah, yeah. I, I killed everybody. I watched yeah, everyone. Brett, murdered. yeah, Brett's Brett's very very funny. Um, I just like I said, if I said if Brett had if Brett had certain people's confidence, we'd be Broadcasting I from would, Brett's mansion I right now. I would yeah. love, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I would love yeah. it. He just, he's just got to get. He just, he doesn't. He, he does, I don't think he thinks he's as funny as he. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't I think know if he starts to think it, then he'll be, get he, panicky. Yeah, because I had, I had two, and he's gonna get mad at me. But, uh, but I had, I had two. Just Jake Lewis for that show had asked yeah. me for two. He's like, for comics. He said there's some people had, who had, weren't gonna be on the show. He's like, did I have two comics? And I immediately said Kate and Ken, right? Because I just, because Kate. Kate has helped me tremendously through, like, she's been a saint when it's come to, like, I'm calling her up and pitching bits. She's probably just like, this asshole's calling me for another bit. <laughs> um, but, like, and, but she's been the one sounding board throughout the whole thing. has been very helpful. Okay. And she's been working on her own stuff. We're working on stuff together. So that was a given. And then I watched Ken in New York. And when we, you and I used to perform back in the day, and Ken, we even talked about this. When Ken would host, he'd be great. But Ken's stand-up was never great because Ken never had confidence. And Ken never really put... Ken fucking murdered murders now. in New York. He murders. I saw him in San Diego. He fucking killed it. He, he had me on the floor. It was yeah. the best that I've ever seen him do 
in New York. We all had great sets, but he. I heard. He I heard had, everyone sleep. He had such a great set, and he's so confident now on stage, and he's sitting down, and he's. That sh- was the thing for him. he told me about unlocking that for himself, and, and, and it works like, for him because I think he yeah. saw Marin do it and realized he sat down and said, "That's kind of his like, style." That's what I do. I sit. I, I, t- sit, I down. sit down and talk. And he yeah. did. And he had. He's got a. I'm not going to ruin his joke in case he says it at uh, Flappers, but he, he's got this one joke that I think he wrote that day that it was the it was the killer line. It was the killer line of 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 his set for sure, and um, he's just got really really good. So I wanted to I wanted to put him on. He had mentioned that he wanted to do flappers, and it's in his area. So um, yeah, we're, that's we're why. Names. Yeah. So so everybody, you got a chance now, man. If you're in the then you're in the area, you got a chance to see myself, Kate, Ellis, and Ken all in the same lineup, and that's not to also um, disregard both Danny and Jake Lewis. Oh my is god, a Jake riot, Lewis dude. is a riot. Jake Lewis is funny. I'm He's still really thinking funny. about that one song. The, the one song. I hope he closes with that song. I do too. Yeah. I hope he. Closes I don't. With I don't, that don't song. know him well enough I to don't suggest either. it. I, don't. Uh, I mean, hopefully, maybe he watches this show. But like, uh, but I don't. I don't know him well enough to suggest it. But him and his brother are sweethearts. They're really good people. I really like them a lot. They were super encouraging, nice people. Like when they when they went there, they like, couldn't couldn't have been nicer. Um, and I look forward to doing that show again. That's going to be on the twenty seventh of uh, of this month. Yeah, yeah, it'll be good. A couple Wednesdays from now, we'll be looking forward to seeing you there, Steph. Floppers oh, is wait. a cool venue. It really is. It, really that is. room, man, that main room is pretty cool. Or it is. That's that's where we did that. Um, when I was got back into it, was the preschool was fundraiser that was, that was in that room. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Does Dicky come to your sets? He, can, I mean, we don't have a babysitter on right. a weeknight. Has he ever seen you perform? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah okay. I mean, well, you know, back in the day, he would because uh, I started dating him in two thousand eight, so I was still oh, doing stand up. Okay. Yeah, he would he would come uh, back in the day. But I think also, I I think probably at this point, he's like, that's your oh, thing. That's your thing. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Like, well, it's the same that my with my wife. It's just that like, she's just like, all right, you get now. That's another thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what? Screenings now you're gonna do again, and now you now you're gonna be a comedian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Funny, huh? Yeah, great. Just, <laughs> Good, but but I did. You know, it would be funny if you did some fucking dishes around this house. <laughs> that would that would really the make me laugh. Shit in the trash. The shit in the trash. Um. All right. So go back to Rogue One. Yep. Dude, that movie just gave me I, I, because like that is I think what I when I envisioned the prequels. Yeah. I guess I envisioned. Yes. The that prequel, kind of like feeling, that yes, yeah, yeah, and like yeah. leading up, the it's gonna CGI be like we're gonna see the, the moment yeah. that Leia gets the thing to put in R two to yeah. like. And that's what Rogue One was. And I just felt like, oh, And also, like, it's so emotional. Yeah. Talk to me about Churret. And what? Churret. In you were. In you were. In you were. That whole, like, all of them, spoilers, yeah. all of them dying Eating from the, it. Di- like, that was so emotional right. for me. I was like, oh, my God. Like. I, I don't know. I just I movie. loved it's, it's, it, and like it, Thomas Harper saying, "like you're welcome in advance." Yeah. I was like, "Why did I not see?" Like, it's my, it's my, f- it's funny because it, it, out of the Disney era Star Wars movies, like I've, I've gone through so much as far as changing them on it. it it's hands down, especially because of Mandalorian. It's yeah. hands down my favorite Star Wars movie of the uh, out of all the Disney. Of the eras. Disney era, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I think mean, it's right after Force Awakens for me. I've got. I mean, I'm looking Force forward Wars. to that rewatch. Yeah, because I, I've always liked. Force Awakens, but I think that out of all of them, especially now with what I really like about Star Wars after after watching all of them and realizing and after understanding and watching two seasons of The Mandalorian, I just think Rogue One fits into that vibe more so and in the overall mythology of what I like. Like this is like the, the new movies, the new tri- the new trilogy. It's a different mythology. Also, it, it plays it plays with Luke and Leia and all that too, but it's really about the mythology of Rey and 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 all the new stuff and Kylo Ren and and it's great, it's fine, but I like the other stuff. It does beg the question for me: What's the Cassian Andor series going to be about? I was about to ask you: Are you I'm more like, excited I'm about like, it? So I was like, I yeah. thought, by the way, I thought Cassian Andor was a planet. Oh, did you really? <laughs> really Even better. Like, I just thought, like, well, it sounds like a planet, like Yavin Four, yeah. like it just sounds like Cassian Andor, like it just sounds. So I was like, oh, this is. Oh my God! Okay, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is Cassian. And, uh, how much do you love K two S O? K two S O is by far like all of the questions I wrote for Thomas were just like, "What does K two S O say when? Yeah. What does K two S O say why, when?" This is why I love that she doesn't watch movies yeah. because it's, she's so excited for like seeing it like the very first time. Oh my God, he's yeah. the snarky the little bitch droid. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, he's so sassy. Like, you continue like I. What does he say? He's like, uh, "I was bored." Like, why? Why are you off the ship? And he's like. 
I was bored, and I thought you needed my help. I, I love I love when he slams her into the ground and goes, congratulations, you've been rescued. Congratulations, you've been rescued, yes. Yeah. So or good. when like, she kills someone that looks exactly like him, and he's like, did you know that wasn't me? Yeah, and he's, he's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's really, plus the fact, when you know, you should. the reason why I say you should check out that rewatch that we did. Yeah. There's a lot of like little tidbits that you you probably didn't know, like the people who follow Star Wars like knew it, but like the amount of reshoots and like problems that movie had is really? it's incredible. That like yeah, Gareth Edwards, whose credit is directing it, is really he credit he he directed a lot of it, but Tony Gilroy came in and like apparently like saved the movie. Oh, it was and, the Gilroy cut. And Gilroy yeah, cut. more or less. Yeah. And but the, if you watch the tr some of the trailers, there's stuff in the trailers that doesn't it's not even in yeah. the Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah, and like there's a there's a shot on one of the trailers where um a, a tie fighter comes up and it's like cuz you know at the end when Jin is moving towards the center, she's like limping and she got the, like, a tie fighter comes up right in front of her, but that's not in the movie anymore. Oh, and like wow. there's a bunch and Ben Mendelsohn is phenomenal in the movie. He's so I mean he's so good yeah, at he's everything good. he does, but he's he's got an evil face too. Yeah. He's one of those people like, yeah, you're only gonna you be a bad guy. You're a bad guy. <laughs> just, totally. There was that Tarkin. Like it was just like, Gang's yeah. What did you, here, baby. What, what did you think about the uh, the the because it's not deep fake. It's the de aging. Of Tarkin. Of Leia? Oh, no, oh, Tarkin. Tarkin. Oh, it it didn't look. It didn't pull me out the way okay. De Niro did. Right. It mm. just didn't. It just uh, I I thought it looked a little a little video gameish. A little video gameish. Yeah. Nothing. I mean, Leia looks like a wax figure at the end. Yeah. Well, you know what's what? She's got like a I like a jank eye. I want to try like, to bring it up, and it usually slows things down. But I'm gonna try to show. I'm gonna show you, Kate, the deep fake as opposed to the um the de aging. De -aging so yeah. de aging is what you saw, right? Yes, so the yeah. guy that they hired, and this is gonna freeze, right? It usually always freezes, but um, the guy that they hired at, at Lucasfilm, they he did before he was hired. They, he did a deep fake of um, of Leia. On YouTube. Oh. Yeah. And that's I'll how they discovered him. Yeah. And it's I'll YouTube show you channel. this first one. This is the, this is the Luke one, but he did. I didn't mind Luke at the end of uh, Mandalorian. Mandalorian. He did yeah. a much better version of that yeah. too. But, um, oh, we did. yeah. But mm -hmm. Dude, Vader walking in. Oh my and God. fucking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like. <laughs> yeah. So it's so the best Vader. So oh my God. It's the best Vader. Here's the Leia one that he did. And again, this, you, for everybody else, it's going to be a little frozen here i'm sorry but i'm just trying to show kate fixing princess leia's cg hyphen rope yeah. fixing using dip fake dip fakes polite dip fucks yeah do you dip fuck dip set so, oh, here we go dip set. here you go okay yeah and it al always when you're trying to show something is when it screws up so yeah because this guy I mean, even like seeing their yeah. hats i was like there i know go. where they're oh this yeah is the, this is the because you're Show the difference of what he. Uh, that's the deep fake one. Oh my gosh! Oh yeah. It's so it's good. It's so, so much better. Yeah, and you guys can you can check out. Oh yeah. my god, that's so much it's better. So much yeah. better. So I'm so curious to see what they do with that guy. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I'm so curious to see what they do with him. Because yeah, the they'll probably use him in the Obi Wan series. Obi Wan, maybe in cat, maybe yeah. in, in in Andor for Tarkin again. Yeah. You know, maybe um. Yeah, so what's Andor gonna what's Andor gonna be about? So if I was, I mean, what I hope it's gonna be about because okay. I, I don't necessarily know what it's gonna be about, but it, it leads up to the events. You got to see because in the novel of I think it was, I think it was Catalyst, not Catalyst, maybe Rogue One novel. Um, they mentioned that Cassian was his family was part of the Separatists, so like the Count Dooku, like all that, like that's that's who they they fought for. So right. it's why he says he's been in he's been in it since he was younger. So it's that lead up of what happened to his family and everything too, but why he's become because he's in a he's like he just kills that guy in cold blood in the beginning in of the, the movie. Beginning. In the like he's one. not a he's a gray yes. area. Good he's just, gray. He's just yeah, a yeah, soldier. Yeah. He's just a, he just does yeah. what he's told, right? So yeah. it, it's that lead up to there. What I what I don't want to see is just it's going to be spy missions. That's yeah. what the the show's going to be spy missions, and I think it was the same. I think it was the same showrunner. I don't know if it still is as the Americans. Oh no. yes, it well, still is. Yes. Yeah. So so that show. So so that the the spy missions will be great, but what I want to also see and what Steph and I have talked about many times over is the um you want to see the empire, empire. also and yes. want, and w what's been really good about like the novels is that they've humanized the empire because it it always goes back to because the empire and and the emperor they're all based off of nazis and and Hitler and dictators in general right but 
when you go back into the uh, World War II, the German army, like there were tons of the Nazis that were just evil fucks that were following yeah, Hitler, yeah. right? Yeah. And then there were people that were also tricked and for they were fighting for their country and for before they didn't see a lot of the ca- catastrophic yeah. all the stuff that was going on and they were in the german army already and some of them and a lot of them defla- they said this is evil shit going on we're leaving but they're part of the german army and they fought for the country and then they left and that's right. a lot of the shit that happens in the empire too there's people who are part of the empire i mean shit han solo was part of the empire right. at one part and then right. he left so like like that type of stuff we want to see we want to see like the the real evil ben Mendelssohn people and then the people like that were in lost stars that realize this is not right mm-hmm. is christopher lee still alive no he passed away he did. i don't remember how many years ago but he passed away but uh. duke would be dead at that point anyway oh he would yeah, yeah okay. he, he died in revenge of the sith like when Anakin right okay so this off. would be in between okay this yeah because andor because be andor is uh, like when is it taking place i mean pro- i think i don't quote me on this but i think it, anywhere between like three to five years before rogue yeah. one Oh, okay. It's like it the years leading it. up to yeah. it. And also, Rogue Two is a call sign. I swear to God, a New Hope, isn't it? Don't yeah, they say the, like Rogue is, Two? There is yeah, Rogue Two. Yeah, because like Rogue Four. That's a call well, to it. What's uh, okay. what is that Luke's Rogue Four, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Rogue Four. Oh no, okay. no, 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 no. Rogue's Red Four. Yeah. Red Four. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, uh, some people are like, "What? How can you talk Star Wars?" Um, wow. But anyway, so uh, so I'm glad you like that. What's oh. the, what's the next movie on the docket that you have? Because I mean, we're going to do a Matrix rewatch. Yes. Or, I or to, I watch. Need, yeah, for you. Just a watch. I, wanna, period. I need to. Have you never seen Matrix either? Not two, three, or four. Okay, I've not two, three. Or, or Animatrix. We're going to watch. Your Animatrix, you're going to fucking lose your mind over. No, I haven't. Animatrix is the is I, the shit. I'm pretending like it's I'm not shocked, Animaniacs. <laughs> no, Animatrix is, is like, to me, it's. To, yeah, no, no, it's not that. An, okay. It's Matrix right, is the best. Then Animatrix is the second. Okay. And then the second movie. And then the, th- the third one, you could. It's like Rush Hour 3. It's, which is so funny. Second Rush Hour 3 in the course of like, well, as far as taping this in like two days because we did our Spider-Man rewatch and Winston brought up how bad that movie was. We talk, Winston and I talk about it all the time because I love Rush Hour 1 and 2 so yeah. much. Yeah, same. He, he, it's, yeah, but yeah, Rush Hour 3, we just forget about I it. I forgot there even was a Rush forget Hour 3. Forget about it. Yeah. Well, did you guys know Rush Hour 17 or was it 18 came 18, out this year? with the shark. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rush mm-hmm. Hour and that was all about with driving the on the 405 right. at yes. 5 p.m. Yep. 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 Killer. Yep. 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 Um, and then, all right, so let's get into this next. Because you loved, you absolutely loved Evan Hansen. You loved that oh movie. God. I feel so bad because I am not that I'm not a hater. I fucking hate being a like hater. I just didn't like the movie. And, and so Halloween kills you love just as much. I I honestly have gone. I, there's a war in my head going on. I don't know which one. Did you see it in the theater or did you see it? Yes. Why did you see it in the theater when she just watched it on Peacock when it came out? Because we, we saw us for a screening oh, okay. to cover it for okay. the World Girls, and I I don't like sca- like uh, slashers that much. Right. So because we watched that trailer together. Yes. yes. And from and. and like I said in the first time, what the fuck is this guy's deal? Mike Myers, relentless. He's yeah. what is your problem? So is that why you hated him? No. Why did you hate him? It's the worst dialogue. Mm. It is unbelievable. Like upset. it is. Are you a Real Housewives of Beverly Hills fan? Um, because they show Kyle up in the Richards. Movie? No, oh. Kyle Richards is one of the Beverly Hills Housewives, and she was the kid in the original movie. Oh, oh really? She's back in this. She's yes. the dark haired. Oh yeah, yeah, I know yeah, her. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. She she's good in. Uh, it it's like a waste of a lot of great actors. The dialogue is painful. The story doesn't make sense. And well, but, I but you didn't see the last one though, right? So how how do how do you know it doesn't make sense? I'm I'm saying the story that they like how it unfolded, oh, like okay. the choices that they made. Because I'm gonna watch. I'm at this at the time of this tape. I'm watching it tonight. It's the only scary movie that Sadie, my wife, really wants to watch. Okay. She because of Halloween as a kid. It's just nostalgic to her. She used to watch with her sister. So we even watched, and you and I talked about this on, on Sith Council on Friday, that um, we watch, you know, do you watch on Netflix the movies we love? No. There's a series called The Movies We Love. It's three seasons. Okay. Right? And it, and it just goes into, it's a very creative way on breaking down the movies that we love. Right? They did Dirty Dancing. We watched that. We watched The Pretty Woman one. They've got, like, uh, Ghostbusters, and they did Halloween. And it shows, like, how it was made for like three hundred thousand oh. dollars, and the amount of money that it made, how how it basically put John Carpenter on the map, and 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 all of that, right? So, watching that story and how that unfolded um, got us very excited because we were gonna watch it on when it because it dropped at like nine p.m. PST on last Thursday night, but then we wanted to we figure let's watch it for Friday because we were, we we're excited to watch it. But I, the m- reviews have been mixed on it so far. Yeah, I. Uh it was, 
I, I wanted everyone to die. I wanted yeah. every character to die, and I ne- and I'm a happy ending type yeah, of girl. Right. And I was like, y'all deserve to die and miserably because you're the dumbest motherfuckers I've ever seen in my entire fucking right. life. And even like Jamie Lee Curtis, she her she's the only she's one. So angry the she, whole time. Her, she's such a good actress that she is the only one where, like, the lines are believable for me. Everything else, it was the first time, and I'm embarrassed to say this, in my life, I checked my phone to see what time it was to see when I could get the fuck out. You hate, you hate, so you really, you really hated it. But, but do you, does it, but does it add to the fact that you don't like horror movies? Okay, so I do think if you like horror movies, there's... Like, it's gruesome as fuck. Yeah. There's cool-ass kills. I cover my eyes for all that shit right. because it's too... I, don't, it's too I just gruesome. don't like it. Yeah. yeah, but I was with Darina, who is a say, massive no, right. yeah. carpenter she, fan. And she liked The Last Halloween. Yes. And did she like this one? No. Oh, she hated She's it. She's like, I more I didn't like it more than you, Steph, oh, wow. because... Okay, then that, is, that, that yeah. adds a little yeah. bit. Not not to take... No, no, I mean, you, totally. You, a lot of times you and I are on the same page with films, but like that... But I'm not a horror gal. Not a horror I d- yeah. Yeah. And if Darina horror, didn't like horror, it... not horror, you know? Well, I was going to say, she's not a horror guy, but she's a whore. She's a whore guy. Well, she said it. She said she was a fan of happy endings. Yeah. So... Believe me. I heard that reverberate. That bounced around in my head for but a minute. You left it Take I note. Left it. Yeah, I was like, I was about to say, like, that's what she said. <laughs> but if, if Darina didn't like it, that's a, that, yeah, because she, 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 I remember her liking the last yeah. one. Yeah. And the score was great. Did Roxy like it or she hated it too? She was laughing the entire time, so she had a great time. Okay. She, she thought it was a fun. Yeah. She admits that it's, it's awful, done okay. awfully, but it's That's too it's bad. Fun. That's upsetting because I was actually looking forward and to it. And this is like truly the last one. No, no. there's one more. There's, they're, they're doing three. They they're doing already a, have one. They say, well, they, they shot it back to back, which I which I like. I li- it, for Halloween movies, it doesn't matter if this thing had a 3% on right. Rotten Tomatoes. Right, right, right. It's, it's a, it's, and it's the yeah. same thing that they said inside of this documentary yeah. or that, that I watch, you know, um, or the special, whatever. But that the, the fact they were going to name it the, although the producer denies it, babysitter the babysitter murders is what it was. An S, what, was what it's rumored that that the title was, and they're like, no, it never was, and it was just taking place on Halloween, and they just called it Halloween, and you play it every Halloween, and it f- continuously, and it, and it blows up. It's the same thing. This movie, that's why they pushed back. It was supposed to come out last year. This movie, but you gotta, it's right around the it's Halloween smart. time. It's they, smart. They had a awesome opening weekend they they, opening night they did i think one of the biggest opening nights of the year of course and they're gonna and that's why you end it with is and it's obviously it's open-ended for a third yes yes okay majorly yeah okay which is and which so let me ask you this question so because i bet you though the answer to darina is yes but with you it's gonna be it might be different because you've only seen one of them would you see the third one no no darina probably will though no, yeah, I think if I get pinned down, which I did for this one, to see it, stop a kid, then I would. <laughs> I'm like, well, let's talk. Talk to me more about that getting pinned down. Like, <laughs> I can see. I can. You I, pin me down. I what was that like? While we're getting to a happy ending, and yeah. this, it's playing in the background. <laughs> okay, that's okay. the only way I'm watching it. Could you say that slower and lower? <laughs> I can feel your lust. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I had another question Here for Rogue go. One, by the way. Yeah. Sorry. Is Rogue One the only movie where I have a bad feeling about this gets interrupted? They don't say the full line. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. It's a good call. Yeah, Does I it? have a bad. Sh- yeah, yeah, it gets interrupted. Oh, I love um, it. I think I don't remember any uh, any other ones unless we're talking you know animated movies. But I yeah, think, I think that's I think that's it. K two S O man. They gave it to him. They knew he was the best. Yeah, oh, he was the fucking. He was the best. He was the he Alan was the, Tudyk. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah. was the, um, the... I am curious about that Jack series. Sparrow. I am <laughs> curious about that series. Uh, yeah, because we're not going to get him um, K2SO the first season. Not for the first season, no. I think, they're, I think he's gonna, they're going to show him kind of meet in the second or one. Or the finale. Or like the finale the of the up. first one, yeah. Does he come with Andor in the movie? Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. So, I cr- you I loved Rogue remember. One. Yes. There's sorry. only one thing I think that you liked more than Rogue One that yeah. you recently discovered. If you... Are going to butcher box? You are not wrong. You butcher box, ladies, and I got. I mean, I'm gonna, and I'm going to change this because this is this is the one thing that it, it has changed. But um, so don't. So if you guys are are listening, don't do this. Watch this. That's the new code. Mm. Um, butcher box is it's incredible. I'm in love with it. I've been raving about it to everyone. I just I I got on a phone call with them recently and. They, they wanted me to get off the phone because I couldn't shut up about it. it was like it's like it's like that Chris Farley scene like you remember when you guys send that box that and awesome. in that box was like all that great meat yeah. 
and like and I and I and I ate it and I really liked it. And you remember when you like you also like you guys do the organic chicken, and I kept making chicken tenders. I I love butcher that box. was awesome. It's so good. I, it is. It's it's amazing. How, my wife is very hard to convince that other that she she likes the type of meats that she likes. That's what she said. Thank you. That's why I've been married for so long. But <laughs> however, the thing is that when I told her about all the organic chicken, I told her about all this stuff, and she's like, "All right, let's see." We had these chicken tenders that they sent to us recently, and she was like, uh, "When are we get more?" Like, <laughs> like she lo- she loves Butcher Box, and that is a that is a ringing endorsement. I absolutely. Love it. The taste of the meat. It's Kate. I mean, oh, yeah. what was the first thing you d- you did? We the first thing we did was um I did I made the ground turkey. Yeah. I like made like a bolognese. Mm. Oh, see, I gotta, turkey, get see I gotta get that. Oh my too. god, that um oh that's not even the first thing I did. The first thing I did was I made the uh, Italian sausage. I made meatballs oh, with okay. the Italian Italian sausage. Yeah. I did half beef, half meatballs because oh, I get the free beef well, now. I want to come over your house. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm uh, so I like. I I like oh yeah, yeah, that's the deal. That was the deal. I don't. There's a different. Th- listen to this deal because we, we can we can do like 40 minutes on butcher box. Yeah. But let's, let me <laughs> let me let me tell you about it because when it comes to meat, quality matters. And when you invest in high quality meat from butcher box, the benefits go way beyond a great tasting meal butcher box sources their meat from partners with the highest standards for quality no more searching the grocery store for 100 percent grass fed beef free range organic chicken wild caught seafood and more their sourcing decisions are made hostically they keep the the farmer the planet the animal and your family in mind always delivering products you can trust so as Kate said, the chicken, the ground turkey, the beef, the steaks, uh, the matter, bacon. the bacon. How do you guys like to prepare it? I'll tell you how I like to prepare it. I throw it up on the on the on the grill. I make some of the the, the beef patties, and mm. my wife used the meatballs for my my birthday, oh, yeah. which was great. But like the chicken, we we put the chicken tenders together. We breaded it a little bit lightly. It's it's so good, and that's and that's there's so many different meals that we've already made with it we've and the family the kids love it kate your kids loved it love it yeah oh, it's it's incredible Eating everything yeah so everybody was talking about how good it is that we we're sitting down at the table and my my father-in-law made these these big uh beef patties right and he says like what kind of meat is this he was so <laughs> he was just like this is good uh, uh so it's it's so good i love it because it's so convenient they send it you don't the grocery store, when you go for, and Kate said this, when you go to the grocery store, you go to the for the meats, and it's like usually that takes up the majority of your budget. It's so funny. I went yeah. just to get like produce the other day because I'm like, I have the meat at home. Just like Probably produce and bread. so much time. Oh my so God, it much. Did. I don't need to get beef. I don't need to get, I, I have to get more turkey and more chicken because that's like, that's the main thing that we usually get. And I want it. And we're, like I said, we're skeptical about it, but it's so good. So it's good. It's so good. I will also say for anybody who's concerned about the packaging, I was really impressed with the packaging oh. because I feel like this, one of the things that's bad about these like box services with like all the waste, it was all recyclable stuff. That's the, and that's the beauty. Listen to all really of it. Is, and there's yeah. no antibiotics or added hormones, which everybody is always talking about. About each box contains between eight to fourteen pounds of meat, depending on your box type. That's enough for twenty-four individual meals. They are packed fresh and shipped frozen for your convenience, so you can save time on your next grocery store trip. Customize your own box or go with one of theirs. Either way, you can get exactly what you want, and there's free shipping for the continental United States. Now, listen to this. This is the one that Kate's going to lose her mind about right now. Mm-hmm. Butcher Box mm-hmm. is offering new members a ten to sixteen pound turkey. Free in their first box. But this you is got, the best. You got to go to butcherbox.com slash SEN live and sign up. That's butcherbox.com slash SEN live to, f- to receive a free turkey in your first box. Get the turkey. And then that way you're going to, and then everyone's going to say, oh my God. Oh my God. Where'd you, where'd you get that from? Butcherbox is the shit. It really is. It's the best. It is the best, and you people are going to lose your minds. And if you ever, you know, sometimes I know how a lot of people are when they're listening to shows. They're like, okay, here's the sponsor part of the show. I'm just going to wait and go to the next thing. Try Butcher Box. Try it once. Try get it once. one box. Yeah. Get yeah. one box, and I guarantee you, you will never cancel that membership. And you get a free turkey. Like, you don't have to go and wait at the damn store to get it for Thanksgiving. Put your order in now. It's yeah. the best. Yeah. I, I mean, Butcher Box is like heaven sent. Oh, it's, it's, I'm telling you. Yeah. Uh, this is like, it's this plus like clear. There's so many like things that I've done because of our promos. Yeah. I'm like, man, Cle- thank Cle- you. Clear thank was you. helpful. Yeah, yeah, clear. Yeah. Clear um, murders. Anyway, so all that stuff. And then Steph ran into a door. Oh my God, it wasn't Tell us door. about it. I So I go to this 
delusion, which is uh, Darina obviously brought me because she loves to watch me scream. And it's uh, it's a basically all of these like horror nerds get together and they rent out this like massive house and put together an entire production and storyline that's like based in like horror. Wait, and that like, sounds like so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. I get why a lot of people would like yeah. this kind of thing. So I, they like. So you're in the story. So and we're in the yeah. story. We're emerged in it, and it's like already pretty fucking scary. And we get to one part where they separate us. There's only three people. No. It's me, Darina, and another person. They're no. like, grab the key from this old fucking witch. And I was like, fuck. And, and the witch was Darina. No. And so I, <laughs> I walk up. I grab the key, and they're like, she's awake. Run. And then was I, she awake? Yes. Oh. She like opened her eyes, and as that's, soon as that's pretty awesome. Yeah. As yeah, soon as they said, amazing. Run. Lights go off. Can't see shit. Were you I, shitting in your pants? Yes. <laughs> I was shitting my pants, running full speed. And Darina had a big Kool-Aid smile on her yeah, face all Yeah, time, she's yeah. just like giggling. Yeah. I'm like running full fucking speed. It's pitch black in here. And I don't look ahead. And all of a sudden, I now know I run with my forehead forward because I go, boom. I yeah, run into a fucking the door. Here, I gotta, I gotta do a zoom in on that bump. I run into the door, boom, and on my back, like, boom. Wait, you really? I didn't even notice it because you really. Yeah. But that is. Yeah. It was no Steph, fucking wait, did joke. They call off where they. No, like, and I like turned to my back. Gone? I'm so my body is so. Um, self-preservation to the max and yes. i'm like you oh, will I've not black it. out yeah. you will stand up you will not be the fucking bitch that ends this tour for everyone else yeah. so who came over to help darina goes that was it darina's like i've never seen anything like that it was like a fucking movie because i the the velocity at which my forehead hit this wood pole and i flip Did back you knock yourself out I th I blacked out I think for like a second. So you might actually have a concussion. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. You want to shine a light? In your no, eyes the light see. is pretty intense. But I I like got up I and I was see like, if your eyes are dilated. Yeah, I know. That's not that <laughs> and she gets, oh my god, she just, she texted me this morning. She's like, are you actually okay? Because oh, good. Was, she let you go home and go to sleep. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh yeah, they said don't sleep for twelve hours. I'm like, I have a show in five hours. I got to sleep. Are you going to dilate my eyes? I'm going to just see if they're... S hold yeah, on they're, a second. they're responding. They're responding. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're good. <laughs> so you just went... So, so, but none of, the, none of the people working there helped? No. Perfect. No one saw because it was pitch fucking black. Right, so nobody and nobody stepped on you. No. No. No one stepped on me. And the, but truly the best Were part... Were you not supposed to run? Is that what it is? No. I okay. was, she goes, why'd you run? I said, they said run. They said run. Like I'm, I I guess I'm a sheep because I followed orders on site. Yeah. Oh God! And no one taped this, though, right? <laughs> no, they're actually gonna e email them to see if there's foot ring light footage. This is all I need because <laughs> this is what we didn't there, get at Six Flags. That's a viral video. Yeah. Oh no, my God. Of you slamming into sprinting into, into a wood pole. The best part, though, this was actually a really fucking cool experience. There was a Chucky like doll that goes to the girl in the braided ponytail. Carry me, and it's Roxy. And then he's, and then she, Roxy comes up to this doll and she goes, he goes, come closer. <gasps> and he goes, put me in your arms. And she goes in his arms. She goes, hi, Roxy, take me to your friends. And it was like, unbelievable. This doll was talking. Knew, and knew it was Roxy. Yes. Was, it was Roxy freak out. Yes. I love it. No, Roxy's like, okay. <laughs> that's, oh see, that's a lot of fun. Yeah. It's a yeah. lot of fun. So, all right. So, well. $100 concussion. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's how you spent yeah, that to get into that place. Yeah, God. Because do they rent? Did you say they rent out a house? It's a massive bucks. house. Each yeah. person spent hundred like, bucks. It's, it's like, like gold a, mine. I know. Yeah. Christian's like, I think I might be getting into doing haunted houses. Yeah, think about those house. actors are like pulling in good yeah, money for the night. Hundred percent. But they like do like an is it like an Airbnb? They like rent somebody's house and put this thing on. Well. But Yo. Let's see. That's the house. Yeah. Can you text it to me and I'll put it yeah. up on the screen? Uh, you know, yeah. Wow. It's fine. I'll, I'll put it up on the screen. Um, and meanwhile, what, something I did want to, as we were talking about texting here, I want to, um, oh, you know, uh, first thing I do, I got to send everybody the, we're going to talk about Jamie Costa's video. We haven't had a chance to do that. Oh. Uh, uh, and it might be a little, you know, it's been about a week, I guess, by the time this comes out. But um, so much to talk about there, some other stuff that um, that has gone down. But my my daughters are big Marisol McKee fans. And there's two things I gotta I gotta play. This is from from my this is my my four year old who after is a gangster. Yeah, after gangster. lady after Lady Justice successfully defended her championship. This is the four year old. Marisol. Lady Justice, Lady Justice. Oh 
my you can God. hear butcher box being cooked in the background. Yes. <laughs> oh yes. my that, God. That was so that was for that was for the four year old and then the the almost ten year old. So, so yeah, so, so yeah. yeah, it's and cool. Then, so look, yeah, I mean, look at that boss. Oh. Look at her. She is just something else, man. She is a man. A, I was such an I was such an idiot to let her go. <laughs> people, don't, we laughed about this. People don't even know. People are like, why did Kate trade her? She was never gonna. She sign wouldn't have signed with, with you if you didn't. <laughs> she she would have gotten drafted. She would have gotten, gotten drafted, drafted by Koi or by Roxy Sam probably, or somebody. Yeah. Before I, I had Sam and Koi before me. You think she wouldn't have gone? You you may have had a chance. Then I wouldn't have gotten Harper. Then you wouldn't have gotten Harper. Fuck that. Right, right, <laughs> right. So, so, but either way, she is like a massive, massive star. This woman. Yeah, I mean, I'm she's such a, a such fucking a fan of hers. Yeah, yeah the PR too. firm was there, and they were just like blown away by like how like like the chanting in that crowd. Like you were you were there for New York, like when Dan yeah. got. I mean, it was yes. it was loud. Yeah, it was as loud, it was as loud for her. I believe it. I believe it because I I'm so impressed with so many players, but she's like a perfect mixture of just nailing every fucking thing you need to Everything. nail to make she's people the, fall in love she's with the her. She's a perfect yes. schmodown star. Yeah, she really she, is. she knows how to play the game. She carries herself well. She's got a great energy about her. Like her every, voice like, rocks. Her voice yeah. well spoken. But, yeah. but even like 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 she ca- like there are certain people that just carry the championship. Right. She yes. looks like the frick. She's the face of the league. Yeah. Right yeah. Now. yeah. The whole thing she does with cover. Her eyes, Everything. like she's just like, oh, yeah, such she's a, she's a massive, she's massive. She's like the biggest. See, I think she's like the biggest one on Star we've had since like Roka. Yeah, I think I yeah. think she's unbelievably enigmatic. Yeah, I just want to follow her. She really is. And speaking of people that are blowing up, I'm talking about uh, Jamie Costa. And I can't play the full video here, obviously. I did a reaction to it, but I just want to play a little of the dialogue. If you guys didn't see it already, Jamie Costa, who you guys know from Schmoes, know, and he's been a very good friend of mine for like the last seven or eight years um so he sent me this video that he he told me that he was doing this test footage for this robin williams movie because i i had been asking him and begging him to do a, a, a robin williams type of thing for a while and, and always trying to will it into the world that he was going to become robin williams in some kind of a biopic or something too and he said he had called me a, a little while it's almost got five million views this, this freaking holy video. shit yeah. i believe it yeah and um so he he had called me and said, I, we got something cooking, brother. I want to I want to send this to you. And it's like, I think it was like seven, eight months ago. I can't remember. And he sent me this footage, the one that went Dude. viral. And I and I watched it and I showed my wife immediately. I showed Ellis and I talked to him. Because Jamie was the one who got me booked on that show, the first show that I did back in a while. And and then he had sent a text to me and, and Ellis a couple days ago. And he said, well, looks like I think it's Jake Lewis who I said who had directed it and, and wrote it. That they wanted to, they were going to make it public. It's like, all right, let's see how this goes. Went pretty well. Went pretty, pretty well. fucking so well. This is just the audio. This is the audio. Try another thing here. More calling, Austin. <coughs> Come me. in, your fatitude. Mullard. Hello, Austin. Falling asleep on the job again, Mullard. No immenseness. Just uh, working on my report on dreams. <laughs> dreams? Well, dreams are a beautiful aspect of human culture. In fact, it happens when you're at night and you close your eyes and all kinds of images happen and it's really bizarre. Well, let's try this one. Well, it depends on all you ask. If you ask Cinderella, she might sing it to you and say, Robin? A dream is a wish your heart... Robin! Oh my God, the face he makes there. Yeah. Could you give us a moment? It's, it's when she tells him that Belushi... Dies. No. And he goes, No. No, not John. Not John. It's the way that he no, does it. John. It's like, God. Yeah. Not John. Right. It's about that fart earlier. <laughs> that also that yeah. part too. I'm sorry about that. It won't happen again. <laughs> what? John Belushi died last night. What? They found him in his bungalow this morning. No. I told you I was with him. I know. They found him John's in his not bungalow. dead. I was with him last night. I know you were. I'm so sorry, Robin. No. Not John. 
And then it's, so it's, all of that, but like the end, the ending of it is not anymore. This whole thing is written very well too. Yeah, uh, it really is. Like, the, he, like when he tries to get back oh, into it, Orson, come here, Orson. And he like it's such real emotion. Yeah. More calling Orson. <clears throat> come in, Orson. Because this part of Robin's life like turned him all over. Sleeping on the job again, more. happened with, with Pam. Which... They were together that night, Belushi and Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the night before, before when, the night that he that died. Happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, and then, because Pam did say that to him, it, that I'll, I'm going to kill you if you if yeah. you let this happen to you. And then he, he woke the fuck up. Um, I mean, he still got into some shit. Yeah, like he still yeah. wind up getting, you know, down the line. But like, his he, son is on that. Um, his son's on that show. Um, me, you don't see. Oh, um, okay. With the the Harry Prince oh, Harry Meghan Markle oh, okay. mental okay. health okay. Okay. show, and he talks and about he it. talks about addiction okay. in the family. No, sir. Not anymore. Not anymore. And then the way he comes out of it, like yeah, the yeah. seriousness of Williams that you could see, and that you hear about inside of the, the mental stuff that he had kind of gone through, and then he's able to do this. All right, Nano, Nano, let's go. Mark calling. Oh, son. Shit. Fuck me. Oh my god. Oh. I'm so sorry. It's just beyond. He's unbelievable. Totally beyond. But also, I don't know how you. Or Jamie Costa, yeah. you grow up with that face and with that ability and don't think, I was put on this earth to so play Robin Williams. Right. Like, but how here, could you so, not? So this is why, so so there's a lot of people that, I looked at, and again, by the time this video comes out, I don't know, it's almost, at, it's at five million views now, and there's almost, there's only like a thousand likes, and like, a, a thousand dislikes, and like, I think like 90 like 90,000 likes, oh, right? Yeah. It's insane. And most people say exactly what we're talking about, the embodiment. This is not an impression. It's mm -hmm. not an impression. No, no, no. This is an impression. When I talk to you like this or do this, this is an impression of someone's voice. I cannot do Arnold's face or do the arms and the things. He do not look like Arnold. This is the voice. That's not what he is doing. No. He is reacting like him. He's embodied like people. Are, oh, we just don't need an impression doing Robin Williams. That ain't I mean, an that's impression. That's not an impression. No. That, that's You're mother, not that, watching. That's, that's, there's no difference because the, the problem is you see people tweeting out going, oh, oh, this isn't this isn't how, you know, this should be made or this should be made. It's like the, this just someone putting out a video of an impression. That, that's not a, that's not what the performance is. This is what Jamie Fox did yeah. at, for Ray. This yes. is what uh, Renee Zellweger did for, for Judy. Judy. The difference is they're famous. Yep. And because they're famous, you think they have more credit because they're famous and they're not. They were doing embodiments also. Yeah. They just weren't as good as Jamie Costa. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, that's, that's um, when, when it came to voice, like. And they, the look. Yes, they were both. The look. Now, look, they were both fantastic in the roles and deservedly got their accolades for it. And they did the mo probably the best anyone else could do of nailing their voices. This is the best anyone in the world can do embodying Robin Williams' voice. There he is. His, mo his movements. His, his, movements, his yeah. face. His face. He has Robin Williams' face. Because that's, what, that's the other thing that... Jamie Costa is a magician. And the reason why I say that is that when you sit down with him, when he does Owen Wilson, he has, he Owen, has Wilson. Owen Wilson's face. Oh, that's crazy. When he okay. does Michael Douglas, he has Michael Douglas's face. He just... Know, it, George Bush... He, oh, his George Bush. You're right. He, he becomes does George yes. Bush, and I it's not, and it's George not Bush just an impression. It's the mannerism. It's, it's how to do it. He's a chameleon. He was given a gift that is just. It's uncanny. It's bizarre. It's like this, and and he's a great actor. That's the difference. Yeah. That's, that, that's, that's acting. That's I wonder acting if there. SNL has hit him up. Um, so I don't know how much of an SNL. I don't if he's that, interested in that. He's not that that's not an SNL performance. No, totally, I know, no, I know, I know what you're saying. hundred percent. Why not? I I'm I have it so again, by the time of this recording, I reached Jamie and I talked briefly since I'm sure his phone is insane at yeah, the moment. Insane. I'm sure. And like I, I so the only thing is I, I had sent him a vo a, a voicemail and he texted me back the next day and, and then, you know, uh, I think he was supposed to do that show with you and I. Yeah. But I think he probably He's probably got meetings up his ass right now yeah. coming yeah, up, yeah, yeah. And, and and he should. So, yeah, because like you're saying, it's not just Robin Williams. This is 100% the best you'll ever see of that, but it clearly he's just talented. He's talented. He yeah. should get work. 
regardless yes, because of this. You should you should take meetings with him because he's also a good human being. Like a really good dude. Like And talk about creativity to make up something to show you like your worth, essentially. Yes. Like that's what I love. It's like taking the best part about YouTube culture, like taking it into your own hands so right. people can view you. And and I think that that's what he was nervous about. I think because I don't think it was his decision to put to make it live. Um and he was probably he was he was probably nervous about it because the thing is one what I don't like is just the way that it the way that the world works. I think it was pretty lame for people to send it to Robin Williams' daughter. Um, they were sending it to her daughter to his daughter, oh, and geez. she's just like and she wrote she wrote back she goes she goes Jamie is really talented, but like and I don't know what the significance was of the day that when when it came out, but she's like sending it to me on one of my dad's like toughest days is. Not something I really want to see. Yeah, someone doing an impression of my dad. She didn't. She didn't watch it. I yeah. don't think, and I, I don't blame her. Right. Yeah. I can tell you firsthand, Jamie Costa is very cautious and very respectful yeah. of yes. Robin Williams' family. Yes. Anytime that we have talked about stuff about Robin Williams in general, it's it's got to be presented in the right way. Um, like if he's going to do something on the show, he never says anything to disparage um Robin reputation. or his no, family right, or right, anything. Right, right. He is super mindful, super respectful, and I don't think he would do the movie without the blessing of the Williams family. Oh, of course. Um, and he wanted to make sure that, like, this is stuff that, this is stuff that is, was, has been in biography. I read many biographies on, on Robin Williams and things, and this is all stuff. Like, Robin Williams, to me, is the only celebrity in my life that I ever cried over when, when I saw a passing. Yeah. I don't know what it was. Like, I, I had the opportunity one time, like, did I tell you this? So, oh, I could, Really, my, my ex girlfriend, among a lot of other things, one of the main things I'm, that she sucks about is oh. is that um, I went to the I was at the comedy store religiously. I used to go there all the time, and he said Robin's coming in. Robin's coming in to do it to do a show, and he did it for like three nights. And he came into the main room, did not use a microphone, just because he needs his hands free. He just didn't want to use a microphone. No, and that, know, he had he had seven he had seventy five water bottles everywhere. And he kept and he drank maybe all of them. How he didn't piss his pants while he was doing it, but he, but he, but everybody was there. The room was packed every single night. He was there. One of the nights he was up there, he had this one water bottle, and I grabbed that motherfucker and I took it. I took it home. The water bottle. My ex girlfriend threw it out. No, so it's an empty water. She knew what it was too. I said, she's like, it's just a water bottle. I was like, it's Robin Williams' water bottle that he used the whole entire time. She threw it out. But anyway, I was in the back of the comedy store. When he was there afterwards, and I was just like, Mr. Williams, found him and said, Oh, thank you so much. He's like, Did you like it? Did you like it? And I had a chance to talk, and I'm like, Did I like it? Like, you're Robin Williams. Oh and God. and there was just something, I don't know what it was, but I was, and I think everyone felt this way, but I always felt like he was my uncle or yeah. something. I felt like yeah. he was like, Because I just, there's so much, he was just so warm and inviting. And like, someone said it inside of the comments is that Jamie Costa, for those five minutes, he brought Robin Williams back to life. Yeah. This wasn't just someone doing an impression. This was like you're like so someone some a fan wrote to me about this video and said they sent it to their mom who was a this is this is incredible sent it to their mom who was a massive Robin Williams fan and she's like oh my god he was so young in this video and I I I, I loved I I loved him during this morning meeting this is great footage that they found and she's like no that's not him mom that's oh I'm, my god yes. I believe it yeah my other, parents would probably say the same thing I, the other thing that's like so clear about this is how much Jamie Costa loves him. Like loves the him. The care with loves which he yes. presented this. I also get the sense, and I wouldn't know, but Jamie Costa seems like really shy. He's he's humble. He's yeah. humble, and he's he's. I just like some of the stuff I've seen him on. He always like he'll do the impression. Like he, yeah. I feel like he sort of shows himself through. He's a massive performer. He's got great comic, and he's got yes. great comic instincts. But he's not like a really big loud. Hey guys, I'm in the room now. Yeah, like yeah, Mike yeah. Myers type. Yes. No, he's yes. not. He's but he's but From he's, Halloween. Yes, but <laughs> yeah, but he's one of. The, but like if you are talking to him and you're in a conversation with him, he boom 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 boom. Yeah, yeah. But he's but similar to Robin. Robin. Yeah. In in social was shy. very was shy. shy. Yeah. It's just when he when he had that stage, it was like yeah. he was the only one on stage. Oh and God, when he's I on, can't and, believe you met him. And he was on, and when he's on, um, you know, talk shows and everything. Yes, he's on. Yes. right. But like, but he was he was kind of you know in his thing. And like when at the comedy store, he wasn't like, hey everybody, what did you think of my set? He was yeah. just kind of like, oh, oh thank you. And it was just like you know he's, it's it's just tough, you know. Uh, so. If there is, I just, what I think Jamie accomplished inside of this video, without even maybe wanting to accomplish this, was that you cannot do a Robin Williams biopic now 
without the name Jamie Costa being floated around. You and can't. and if you don't and if you don't make it with him, there's going to be it, this is different. A lot of people bring up like Anthony and Gruber, who I like also, and I've had the pleasure of of interviewing. And Anthony Gruber does a very good impression of Harrison Ford, and it happens to look just like a young Harrison Ford. Like, yeah. And he got so much so he was cast in Age of Adeline as young Harrison Ford. Um, but and as and I say this with all due respect because I love Anthony. I think he's a great guy. Anthony played like he was trying to do Harrison's voice and he was, he was kind of moving around and doing it. And it was it was good. It's actually pretty good. But it was but it was good and he was doing his and he was doing the thing, but he was doing an impression. Yeah. He wasn't in it wasn't so much embodying Harrison Ford as much as it, it, he had the benefit of looking like him. Yes. And I think and and to be honest, I probably would have preferred Anthony and Gruber in solo because I would have probably connected to it yeah. more and I think he probably could have hit it. Um and I say this again lovingly because I really like Anthony Gruber a lot. I think Jamie Costa is a far superior actor to Anthony and Gruber because of the because of the way that he can just pull in these and I and Jamie Costa played Harrison Ford in as Solo and I think Jamie Costa did a great job as Han Solo in the Han Solo. Did I show you the Han Solo thing he did? No. I'm going to show you before you leave. I know you got to take off a little early, but I got to show you what he did. It's the mannerisms, it's the smile, it's the being able to think and move and do. He just has a gift. Uh, yeah, I don't, I feel like there's um, like external, um, I feel like when I do an impression, I sort of, I sort of like picture like, okay, what's the external? Right. And you're sort of like, you sort of, you sort of stay outside of your body. And I feel like Jamie definitely somebody who's like, it's like an internal, he's like, yeah. What does it feel to be mm -hmm. Ralph He's Williams? thinking as the yeah. person. He's thinking, and it's not yeah. like he's not. I don't imagine that he's practicing those lines, saying them how Robin would say them. I think he gets into his voice yeah. and then reacts as as, as Robin. It's, it's Jamie, which is Jamie just Costa, great acting. Jamie Costa disappears. Yeah, there's no for yeah. for it, it's gone. Yeah. You're not. He's. It's even the reactions to it. Like there's times when you can see when someone's trying to. Oh, how should I act right? Oh, I should be upset right now. Like this. That's yes. Like when he does that thing at the end when he's just more calling arse again. And he chokes up on because inside that he just learned about John Belushi yes. dying. So he's yes. like, he's like, okay, performer, performer, performer. Yes, That's yes. what Robin was. Go, go, go. He, you know, Jamie. The way that Jamie gets his, the way that he, I've talked to him before. He doesn't practice his impressions in no, front of the mirror and does that stuff. It. People, people. I've asked him before, and he's like, no, I just if I really like a movie or I really like something, I just I I kind of take it and watch it that way. Like his Gandalf is incredible, right? He does yes. his Gandalf, and, yes. and his mouth turns into it, and he goes and he looks like him. It's it's crazy. It's like he's Jim Carrey did this thing back in the day when he used to do his special, and Jim Carrey could turn his face and do these type yeah. of things. Jamie Costa is going to be a megastar. Yep. Um, and he should be. Yeah. He should be a megastar. Um, because I hope that what this does, even if the Rob Williams thing doesn't happen, which I really hope that it does, but if it does not happen, Jamie Costa should be cast in a lot. Jamie Costa does Manscaped ads, which are hysterical. Jamie Costa brings out the best in every project he is in. I'm so glad he's getting the exposure that he's getting. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. funny you brought up Jim Carrey, though, because it reminded me of um, when Jim played Andy. Oh, yeah. Yes. And yes. like, just is is the character. Yeah, he, that's became, he's Andy. Just became him, and that's and and that's only that was five minutes. So yeah. Just imagine what two hours is going to do. If you're if you're a studio and you see what this has done, five million views in two days, and it's you just don't. A, it's like, just a no brainer. You got to have a right script. You got to have the right thing, and you got to you got to. And it's going to be tough. But you got to get the family to sign off. The thing is, it's going to be because Jamie's only like thirty two years old or something. He's, okay. he's he's super young. So <laughs> like so you know you're probably going to have cool. to cover. A lot of Robin's younger, yes, stuff because then you start to do prosthetics and put him into his sixties. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. But either way, uh, I I wish nothing but the best for my pal because um, he's um he's he's a treasure. He really is. Uh, and if you guys cared about yourselves, besides Butcher Box, tell you what you need to do: brush your teeth, brush your teeth, please, brush them good. Um, please, please. Yeah. Please, thank you. Yeah, look, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of stuff that that I needed already with with toothbrush. You want to get the good toothbrush. You want to get the toothbrush that's adapting to the times. You want to get people that really, really care about your your hygiene, and that's exactly what Quip does. Because good health it starts with good habits, and so far, you know, Quip for a while. Quip makes it easy. They deliver all the oral care essentials that you need to care for your mouth. 
They have the Quip electric toothbrush, and it is loved by 7 million mouths. And it has timed sonic vibrations with 30-second pulses to guide a dentist-recommended two-minute clean. A lightweight and sleek design. Are you going to get this? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. You need I actually this? already no. I was gonna say I already have the I have their gum. Oh, you have it already. Right. I okay. love the gum. It's really good. Oh my god. The- so um, it's got a sleek design. It's got for both adults and kids. No wires or bulky charger to weigh you down. It's a multi-use travel cover that doubles as a mirror mount for less clutter. A reusable handles in a range of sleek metal hues, including best-selling all black and all pink, as well as bright plastic colors, sure to make a pop to your bathroom counter. Now, are you guys on top of your brushing? It's very important. Telling you, death, death. I would just call you death. Death. I am death. death becomes a tank. But if you, so it's always about do you, it. It's it's about the breath. When you're talking at a bar, it's about the oh breath. Oh my gosh, it's like an instant game changer. And if you can someone tell. smells good and looks like they have clean a clean mouth. I'm in there. That's it. And yeah, you don't want that. You don't. You, yeah, you don't want plaque hurt hurting your in your life. There. You got to track and improve your brushing with that free Quip app. Earn amazing awards like free refills, products, Target gift cards, and more. Beyond the brush, Quip has everything you need to build a complete routine. They have anti-cavity toothpaste. They got mint or watermelon that prevents cavities. And floss string that expands to clean. So much. If you get to get, go to getquip.com slash big thing. Right now, you're going to get your first refill free. That's your first refill free. Did you hear me? At get, 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 get quip.com slash big thing. That is G-E-T. Q-U-I-P dot com slash big thing. Quip, the good habits company. Get it. And let the English see you do it. That <laughs> quip, oh, man. Quip. Quip. quip yeah. Quip, Lots quip, of great quip, stuff. Quip, quip, quip. So before we... Uh, uh, what? If the, if the, with the possibility that I... Because I'm going to either put this up on Monday or Wednesday. Okay. Mm-hmm. The possibility it's that it's both it, of those days right yeah. now, so that's convenient. That's, that's convenient. The reason why I would put it up on Wednesday is if I do my own kind of single show on Monday, covering all the DC fandom stuff that's going to come out. Oh, yeah. There's so much. Here's this. Look at they this. Sent, yeah, they sent me this box. Well, you can't see it over yeah, there. Go to the one shot of I, you. Well, there you I'm go. Doing. They must so, have lost my address. Look at that. Oh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> so, there it is. This is the DC fandom box. And oh there's, my, there's a lot oh, of stuff. What wow. do you see? Do you see something in there? You oh like? my god, the popcorn. <laughs> oh. oh, that's cute. Look at that. That's nice. That. Yeah. That oh. a nice one. Look at this. This is this is the one. Come on, that's it. That's oh where it's at. man, you pop it in his belt, bitches. Yeah, yeah I love gonna, that. My daughter's gonna love that. You do that at the bat nip. So. Even, yeah. Some of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of the popcorn. Get them. Get them. Yeah, they want you to get excited for fandom. So, and at this point, it already has come out, but it's. Batman the World, I don't know. This is stuff that I should have showed Koi yesterday because he could have told me about everything. How to draw DC. Wonderful wow. Woman World. I'm going to wow. give that I'm gonna give that to my my daughter. 100%. She's going to love, love that. Yeah. You're going to give all of this to your oh, kids. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's yeah. cute. Especially now it's cold. Now. I love a good beanie. It's cold just in yeah. the morning. Oh, what's at this? Night. I don't know what this is. <gasps> decals for your wall. I know. Oh, I would know is? a wall decal oh, yeah. box anywhere. <laughs> I would know that. I got them Transformers at Joker. home. I love this. Dude, that's awesome. Is that a cookie? No, it's not a cookie. It's a pop, a Funko Pop. A flat Man. one. Either way, Dude. some good stuff. Yeah, that's great. That's um, good shit. So out of the stuff. They give you an, an, an give Oculus? Me an Oculus. <laughs> give me that. Wow. Give me that. Give me, Did give you me get give an you. Oculus yet? Not yet, but believe me, I saw recently... There's um God, what the fuck is it that I oh there's a Star Wars. Do you do do you have Yeah, Star I've done Wars the Star Wars one. Is would it you, the best? So let me ask you a question because we talked about this. Would you do because my f- I have a friend at home that has it, and he he's he's you know he's a dude and he's got a penis, so he does the porn. Right? Yeah. But would you would you do the porn? Probably, yeah. Because I yeah. feel I feel like you would. To, to, I probably have would. you seen that um, Black Mirror episode with Yaya the, Abdul? They do VR porn. It's not porn. It's a VR game okay. where they fuck. Oh. They can fuck. You fight, but you can. Oh, fuck. but you can fuck inside yeah. of the game. Yeah, and it's like a full body sensory experience. Oh my god. Yeah. And it's like with Anthony Mackie and Yaya Abdul Mateen. It's oh, a, so it's a, what's the what's the movie called? It's Black Mirror episode. Oh, it's Black Mirror yeah, episode. It's okay. unbelievable. I don't think I saw the final season. Oh my god, that they put yeah. out of Black Mirror. I got to get on that. I mean, Black crazy. Mirror, yes, so many like Daniel Kaluuya was yeah. like I first saw him on Black Mirror. On Black Mirror. Yeah. So, um, but anyway, I, I think I would do the porn. Yeah, it's like because you might as well try it. Might as well try it. Might as well try. What's it gonna do? What's it gonna? Yeah. Yeah. What's the worst that can happen? 
Mm-hmm. Happy ending? Like, yeah, what's happy the ending. That's, <laughs> yeah. That's, I don't think that's the worst that's going to happen. Uh, <laughs> probably the best thing that's going to yeah. happen. That's good. Not too bad. <laughs> my stuff. Yeah, my stuff. Um, other than that, I think so. The stuff that's coming out of DC fandom, the, and I, it's bizarre because all this stuff had probably had come out at this point. But I think that this, the talk of the town will probably be the Batman trailer. Yeah, mm. that's what it, the, that's my boy. Yeah, you got Flash, that that I'm also very excited yeah. for Shazam or Black Adam. Is that uh, is Black it both? Adam? I think both. Is they both? They're going to yeah, show both. She- um, is there anything else that we're missing? So I know that they're going to do the, the the Peacemaker. Teaser looked fantastic. Did you see that? Yes, because they're pulling exactly what I want out of a Peacemaker yes. show. Did you see the trailer? Do you know what that no, is? No, no, the no. John no. Cena one from the Suicide Squad. He's got his own series. Did you see no, the Suicide Squad? I, did see, I she saw loves the Suicide Squad. I loved the yeah. Best John Cena ever. Dude, yeah. Best so, John Cena ever. So he, he's got his own series that James Gunn, apparently, I didn't know this. James Gunn is not only, he's, he's writing like all the episodes and he's directing it. For yeah. Him. And he's the only one that can make me interested in Peacemaker. Yes. Because this guy is such a fucking dick yeah but but that he, scene he writes great. yes because that's exa- it's like no one wants to deal with him right. he's fucking weird he yeah. wears his yes. like and he did some shit yeah 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 baseball pants everywhere yeah. so so th- but it's uh it, you should watch the trailer it's really funny that. it's only oh a God. scene it's like a, they, they the people from the from amanda waller's uh the, that like turned on her yeah like they they meet with him for like lunch or something oh. and it's it's really funny that's viola davis's character yes. Amanda- okay yes okay okay, okay. so that's the stuff, and I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of it. Um, it comes out. I mean, like I said, it probably I probably have already done reactions and shit to it, but very curious to where everyone feels and what they what they thought about the stuff. And and then I, if I have an opportunity after I see everything, I probably just do. I would like to do a full episode on Monday of Big Thing where I just cover everything that I watch. It's just hard for me to get people in yeah, here yeah, on yeah. Monday. I mean, I don't know if either you're not available on Mondays. I'm not, unfortunately. Are you well, on Monday? I'm, I sometimes can be, but this is Dickie's 40th birthday. I don't birthday, know. So maybe so. if you watch just the stuff on, on over the weekend, yeah. and then if you can pop in on like early Monday morning, Monday morning. maybe we'll try to do a, a Big Thing Unless episode. Unless this is Monday morning, in which case, I know, in have case, a great who knows, week. In case this is all bizarre, strange, <laughs> yeah. Matrix type it's of Monday shit. It's Monday, Wednesday. It's Monday, Wednesday. <laughs> but that's Wednesday. the show. Look, um, um, get into the uh, get into the description here and get yourself quip. Get just definitely get yourself butcher box. I'll tell you that right now. There's no reason for you guys to not get both of those. Check it out. Steph Sabra, Kate Mulligan. Don't run into walls and get concussions. And who's having car sex? We never really found out, but we'll not find out some other time. Yeah, <laughs> next time. All right. See you on the flip side. <laughs>